This is my homemade sawmill and I've been using this thing for years and years. A lot of it had just kind of worn out and it was time for an update. I'm going to talk today about the lift mechanism on it and you can see the motor on this thing. I think it's a Wisconsin VH4. I think it's a gigantic motor. It weighs like 600 pounds. And then the rest of this metal here weighs a couple of hundred pounds more. So anyway, I figured I'm probably lifting close to a thousand pounds when I'm doing this. So I needed some heavy duty gear. Now, so it's lifting it with some Acme screws and they just, this bolt attaches to this piece of steel which telescopes on these rails that go up and down. All the way up and down like that. There's one on each side. And so you've got a nut here that rides on the Acme screw and it goes up and down. There's another one over here on the right hand side. And then these travel up to, there's a sprocket up here. There's a tensioning mechanism right here that I made. And I'll do a separate video on how that works. And then you come over here to the other screw and here's the sprocket that connects the two screws together. All right, and then I've got a gear reduction here. It's a five to one gear reduction, which is really more of a reduction than what I want. I really want like a two to one or three to one. And so I actually stepped up the reduction here. This is a 30 tooth gear and this is a 10 tooth gear. So it drops it by a third. So basically what happens is, is when I turn this handle, I get an eighth of an inch of up and down movement. So if I'm going down an inch, I need to turn the handle eight times. You can manually move it up and down. Going down, of course, is way easier than going up. And so normally what I do, and I did this on the old one, was I would use a drill and I would raise it. At the, when I got to the end of cutting a log, I would raise this all the way up with a drill. And then as I sawed lumber off, I would drop it by hand, which is just super easy to do. You can see right here, I've got some galling of the screw. And what happened was on the old one, I had an Agni nut and an Agni nut and a pipe in between with a grease fitting on it. And I could grease that. And it sounds like a good idea, but then over time what happens is that inside of that pipe gets filled up as this goes up and down and the screws bring dirt in there, you can't clean it out. So I thought, okay, I'll put one here and one here, and then that way I can still clean this and I'll just grease it in between. Every time I use it, I'll just brush it with some gear oil. And so I did that. Well, this one apparently got a little too tight on the downstroke, and so it was galling this and I had to cut it out. You know, I had both of these things and this thing so heavy it might take two, but you know, when you think about it, unless you've got it dialed in here to the micron, only one of them is gonna be lifting. And so actually what was happening was this one was lifting and the one at the top was pushing down and it galled the top of the screw. As I've been using it up and down, it seems to be smoothing out and I think it's gonna be just fine. If not, I can replace this screw. I'd just rather not have to do that. Now down here at the bottom are some thrust washers that I made uh, from some trailer bearings and I've got a separate video on that for you. So it spins on a thrust washer down there. This is what raises and lowers it. This turns the sprockets up here that turn the screws and it raises up this giant motor up and down as I saw logs. I would be really interested to know the lift mechanisms that you have on your sawmill, whether you bought it or you made it. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.